Well, hello everybody. Welcome to IGTV with KeyWebCo.com. My name is Roger Kaiserling. That's K-E-Y-S-E-R-L-I-N-G. Normally on Monday, I do a regular live IGTV show. Seatbelt, please. My employee didn't have a seatbelt on. But we're driving around in the car. Um, I didn't do a live show. Well, I'm doing one right now. But I didn't do my regular live show uh, because I've been really busy this week. This week, I have tackled a rather large project. I am now making websites for people, but I'm not making it available to everybody. I am charging very little money to make the websites. I am underselling myself by 50% on purpose. I will only accept clients that are very small, struggling businesses that don't have a website already and need a website and don't want to get gouged with a bunch of money. The reason I'm doing this is eight some odd years ago, I started on e-commerce. I didn't know a thing. I paid $800 to have all my graphics done. Six months later, I learned how to use software and I realized that I could have made all my graphics on Canva in about 15 minutes. All that did was leave a really nasty taste in my mouth because all I could think of is I could have paid someone a hundred bucks to do this and still been overpaying. And I could have used that money in my business. A friend of mine approached me just the other day and they said, I paid $1,500 for this website. Okay, that's pretty much normal price. Well, I went and looked at it and it was hideous. Uh, it wasn't that attractive, but that's not important. I went and looked in the back end. That's what you're paying the money for. And they had only done a fraction of what I would have done. They did what they were paid for though. So I started looking at all these website developers and I realized these people are really sticking it to them, sticking it to their customers. I said, you know what? I remember how awful I felt when I spent all that extra money to do something I could have done myself. I know how to do these websites. I could teach anyone to do them. They are not hard. So I decided because these small businesses are getting gouged, I decided that I was going to start making websites for small businesses. Well, as soon as I announced it, I now am a week backlog. <laughs> I make really nice websites. If you want to check it out, uh, you can go to keywebco.com, go to the menu, scroll all the way down, and it'll say Key Webco Website Service. Even my website services page is not yet finished. That's how quickly I got swamped with making websites. Didn't even have time to finish the site that I'm making to sell the sites. I actually do make cute ones. Uh, if you want to see one, I'm trying to think of a, a, a name of one of them that'll be pretty easy for you to remember. I'll give you a couple of them. Uh, capital B, capital B, autorepair.strikingly.com. That's capital B, capital B, autorepair.strikingly. Dot com. That one's almost done. Uh, the emails and stuff don't work, but the calls do. Don't call them unless you need auto service. Another one that I made for my VA, which by the way, with this website, managed to score a client in a day, uh, is helpinghandsva.strikingly.com. Helpinghandsva.strikingly.com. That's one for my VA. That's kind of an example of the baseline sentence. I have more names I could give you, but I have some that aren't done. Uh, now the VAs, a little sick. The VA one uh, is working and is already transferred to the VA. So it's no longer under my control. So if he changes anything, that's it. But it basically still looks like I created it and sent it. Sent it. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Like I said, though, uh, I am only taking small businesses, and I'm going to check, I'm only taking small businesses that are struggling just to keep their head above water, that really need a website, that don't have one already, that aren't making $10,000 a week. You know, if you're making that much money, you can just pay the regular price and not waste my time. This is to help out small businesses so they don't have a bitter taste in their mouth when they pay for their websites. 
Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We rattle on and on and on a little bit about e-commerce. I am also going to transmit this IGTV show via my Ecom Tips podcast. Ecom Tips podcast is really fun. I enjoy my podcast. I also have multiple shows within one podcast. I have the Tip Whisperer and I have Q&A. If you want to send me an MP3 file or a voice recording of a question, do that and I will answer it in the next available podcast. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me rattle on and on and on a little bit about e-commerce. I look forward to seeing you online.